must save her. My daughter. How's it going, everyone? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Breath of the Wild for you today, as always. Uh, we're going to be continuing right where we left off with Divine Beast Va Na Boris challenge. We just completed uh, the three Urbosa challenges and shrines. They were all really fun. And now all we have left to do is head to the Divine Beast and see what awaits us here. Once we finish this boss, which will be arguably the hardest boss in the game, we're going to do Thunder Blight Ganon in the challenge mode, like the uh, the illusionary realm. So we have like almost no food. We have barely any weapons and stuff. And the boss regenerates. And it's just a really hard boss. So hopefully uh, we will win this. I did think ahead though. This is Thunder Blight Ganon. So I was thinking we should use uh, some electricity resistance. I don't think it goes away. So I'm going to eat this before we go in there. And uh, now let's go ahead and head in there. I see Mifa's grace is still recharging, but I don't plan on dying. So hopefully we don't need that. <laughs> How are you all doing today, though? I hope you're all having a beautiful day. I'm excited to continue the series. After this, we're going to be doing uh, the Legend Mifa song with the uh, Zora stuff. To the one who approaches this divine beast, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. In exchange for Naboris's emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Take my emblems. To those who lack determination, you will find this trial unforgiving. I don't think we're lacking determination. It's it's more like uh, this is the hardest boss. This boss likes to f uh, charge at you really quickly. So I'm going to try to like dodge it or parry it. And uh, see if we can get some flurry rushes going on. And uh, we should be okay. Let's see what weapons we have. Because that will decide our strategy really. I'm pretty sure we're just going to have a sword and shield, but we'll see. They always give you a set weapon and armor. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice shield. That's a daybreaker shield, I think. This illusionary realm was created from the depths of your memories. The enemy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. I have no fear of this enemy. I've beaten it before. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. Copy that. These look like suitable tools for the job. I could probably beat this with a tree branch. Actually, this boss is really hard. Wish me luck, bros. I'm gonna need it. I don't have Mipha's grace. Do I have my uh, electricity resistance? I do! Okay, that makes this a lot easier. Alright, he's gonna try to charge us. Okay, well, Daruk helped us there. That's fine. Oh, I got the flurry rush! Oh, we're doing a lot of damage. Wait, so what weapons? Ooh, I got an Edge of Duality. That's a two handed weapon, though. No bows whatsoever. I got two shields. This one is wooden, so it's probably good against electrical attacks. Um, and that's... Wow, we have almost no uh, healing items, but luckily I have some bonus hearts. Apparently, I ate something hearty. Ooh, let's get some more damage. He will regenerate health very fast. Daruk, you are clutch. Actually, let's... Let's hit him with Herbosa's Fury since we have it. Oh, I got the parry. No need for a Daruk. Okay, that went a lot better than expected. That parry was sick. Okay, this part 
can be annoying. I remember that much. He electrifies his weapons and he summons little totem things everywhere. Okay. Oh, that did a lot of damage to him. Oh, that's okay, Daruk. Keep doing what you're doing. Try this lightning. Yeah. Herbosa, thank you for the assistance. <laughs> I didn't think he would do that much damage to him. I figured he'd be lightning resistant, but... Herbosa's fury is just too strong for a pathetic weakling like Thunderblight Ganon. I didn't even get to use all of my weapons. Like, I didn't even use the dual, the... I didn't even use how, like that was that was easy. Then again, we we kind of knew what we were going into, you know. If you've never well, I guess if you get this far, you've already fought him once, but yeah, you just got to be very fast. Don't let him regen health and hopefully get a parry or a backflip for a flurry rush every now and then. That's all you got to do. Mm. Hey, Cass. <laughs> Long time no see. Not well, well, look, <laughs> though our aims are different, our feet took us to the same... Okay, first of all, our aims are the same. We're always in the same destination. First of all... Okay, I guess you do have feet, but you, you used your wings to get here. Surely. Surely. I speak figuratively, of course. I travel by wing rather than foot. Told you. Ah, wandering around here and listening to... Okay, let's just get to the song, Cass. I know you really, really want to sing us a song about Urbosa. I actually really do like Herbosa, so <laughs> let's let's enjoy this song. She's actually cool. She protects Princess Zelda. Recall Naborsis, champion of sand, before she was lost to the land. Of all the champions, I feel like she should have been the one to not die. Chief Herbosa's heart was strong. And Daruk, he's, he shouldn't have died either. So the princess came along. Oh, cutscene. Princess of Hyrule, I accept your proposition without hesitation. Oh, wow. Not only are they planning to resurrect Who is that? Ganon, it seems the Yiga clan is also after our treasured heirloom. You have my word. I won't rest until the calamity falls. Gerudo chief, Urbosa. Urbosa was On the chief? Of Hyrule and its king, I thank you. Wait, I didn't know Urbosa was actually the queen. I thought she was just a protector of Zelda. <laughs> wow. So is Urbosa Riju's, like, grandma? Urbosa. Oh, my. <laughs> I can't say the same. Ten years ago, you rarely smiled, my little bird. Urbosa? I feel like you've called me Little Bird before. I was wondering where you got that name from. Huh? Halt and face me. Ooh, let's see. Urbosa. <laughs> Unlike you traitors, I prefer to fight my enemies head on. Oh my goodness. She has amazing work. weapons. <laughs> the Yiga. Oh. <laughs> that was epic. Urbosa with the parry. Oh, dang. Oh, my gosh. Out of respect for our princess, you may keep your lives. Now go! You would think out of respect for the princess, they don't keep their lives. Wow. You asked me why I call you little bird. Huh? Anyways. When you were but a small child, my dear friend called you that with the sweetest smile that ever graced our land of Hyrule. 
Her mom? The queen of Hyrule? Mother? Who was Zelda's mom? It was ten long years ago. They never talk Your about- Your mother had just left this world. Yet her little bird still spread her wings and became the beacon of light Hyrule needed. Well, still in the process, but yeah. Sometimes I forget myself and get lost in the past. I feel that the older I get. Easy to live in the past. Wow, what a cutscene. Got me all emotional. Oh. Hmm, though she was a fierce warrior, the Grudo chief was also a loving friend of... Yeah, I could tell that. Mm. I thought that song was amazing. That was probably my oh. favorite. Thank you, Cass. Thank I you. I must say, you are an impressive bow. You may now Vo. wield Urbosa's fury far more often. Not foe, just to be clear. <laughs> you are the pride of Hyrule, hero. Take care of our princess. I'm leaving that honor in your capable hands. More capable than you. And you, look, I mean, she was insanely, insanely good. How would she die to Thunder Blight Ganon? But look at that. Now we get to use Urbosa's fury even more often. Ah, sweet progress, guys. Dang, I can't believe we beat that so fast. That was amazing. And Mipha's Grace is still recharging so slow. But that's the last one that we have to upgrade, guys. Um, so before we head out of here, actually, I want to change my armor to uh, to the Zora. You know what I mean? We're, we're going to head to Zora's Domain. We might as well... Might as well... Okay, that... You know what? I do have uh <laughs> Here, this is a more advanced Zora outfit. The ancient elephant. <laughs> oh man. Uh I don't really have a Zora themed weapon unfortunately, so I'm just going to have to go with the master sword and I guess a savage lionel shield. All right, let's head there. Actually, we got a Nope, not that one actually. Nope, nope, up, oh, there we go. Mark it on our map, and then uh, let's head there. So, what's the fastest way there? Um, it looks really far, but I know that this is like pretty high up, so maybe if we warp here, we can fly down to it. Well, uh, we're only 12, 13 minutes into the episode, so if we're fast, we should be able to do at least two of the challenges. That's what I'm hoping, but we'll see. We'll probably do one challenge and then the shrine after that. We'll see, we'll see. Hopefully two challenges. It'd be cool if on the loading screen, the little emblems of the Divine Beast changed a little bit once you got the plus version, but oh well, not a big deal. All right, so we need to go way east. Oh, wow. Oh, there it is. I can literally see it right there. I thought that was a shrine at first. All right, well, we have a long way to go. Let's just uh, head on our way, shall we? Took us like halfway there, kind of. Oh, wow. He has a lightning rod, but I don't really need it. I just have so many good weapons. We're going to have to take another long flight, I think. Actually, since we're here, let's just go up this mountain. See what's up here. There's a lot of loot just like on the way. Plus, being up high will make us fly better. Oh, okay. I already got this, dude. Tweet! Alright. Whoa! 
whoa, 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 not too far. This is like big ice. Mifa's grace is ready. Thank you, Mifa. You can see Zora's domain over there. say this dock is beautiful and you only ever come here like once or twice so let's enjoy this moment shall we because we may never come back here again Dang it, I don't have another Revali scale. Okay, cool doc. Let's head back up. I thought I had another Revali scale I could use out there. No worries. At least it's not raining. We should be able to climb up here easily. Best part about Breath of the Wild is being able to climb pretty much almost anything. Best thing they added to this game by far. Ooh. Ooh, nice chest. Let me guess, 100 rubies. 10 arrows. Not bad. I can hear Cass. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Oh, thanks, Rivali. After I had to climb up this mountain myself Cass how did you beat us here bro I don't understand it you're so fast well we're here I know we're probably not gonna be able to use him and he's just gonna disappear but I like oh <laughs> whoops I was gonna say I like wolf link hanging out with us I applaud your courage in coming here bro I have already beaten all the rest of these challenges the locations that are revealed are trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. Show me, show me the way to the final challenges. Okay. All right. Oh. Mm. Fellow traveler, what brings you here? Bro, you know! You know! We just came from Urbosa! I suppose everyone has their own reasons for traveling. Why do you act like we've never met, Cass? Let me guess. You want to sing me a song? Alright, let's hear it. Allow me to sing it for you. Ooh, this one sounds a little different. Reaching skyward from the waters blue, Ruda's champion, a heart true. The hero's power shall grow. See trials monuments show. One, find the light's path shows. That's hard to say, kind of. Two, conquer the ancient foes. Oh. I actually don't remember like any of these. Three, chase rings of the waterfall. That sounds fun. Of all the trials, these are the ones I remember the least. So I don't even know what we're doing. So did it move you? Mm, not that much, but I do appreciate the hints. Thank you, Cass. I know I can go talk to the Zora King to get more info on these challenges, but honestly, I think we'll be fine just looking at the pictures. Oh. Dude, Wolf Link was just howling to honor 
Divine Beast Varuta. Alright, let's look at these uh, spots. Ooh. Alright, that one looks... All right, here's... Dang, this is actually hard. Uh, so it looks like it's actually, like, up here. Yeah, it's, like, around here. All right. And then this one... Okay, I see the, the waterfall bridge thing. This one's, like, over... They're pretty close to each other, no? This one's, like, up here or something? Dude, I must be wrong on this one. I must be wrong on this one. But that's Zora's Domain, surely. And then it's right to the right of it. It's actually more like around here, I think. Let's delete it. I think it's... I think it's over here. Alright, I don't know. We'll figure it out. And then, last but not least, okay, that one's by those bridge islands. I loved these islands. That was actually really fun, too. Uh, that episode was fun. All right, so which one do we want to do first? Um, dang, all three of them are not easy to get to, unfortunately. We might be best warping here and then heading that way. I don't know. Let's just try it. Dang, we're already at 20 minutes, so yeah, let's just try to do at least one of these shrines. I should be able to get to this one and do it if, if we mark the location correctly, which this one seemed like the easiest one to guess, so the only one I'm not a little sure on is is that one, but the other two I'm pretty sure we, we can find. We'll, we'll find all three. No big deal. Finding them is not super hard. It's the shrine itself that's probably going to give us more trouble, you know? All right, so let's head straight southeast. Uh, Wolf Link, where'd you go? There's only one alpha in these parts. Okay, I hit Cookie and did no damage to the wolf with Orbosa's Fury fully upgraded. That's crazy. Also, very sorry about that, Cookie. Very sorry. I actually wasn't trying to hit you. Alright, let's... Uh, ooh, great fairy fountain down there. Man, this place is beautiful. Like, I can't get over how beautiful this game is. Everywhere you go, there's just incredibly beautiful scenery. And this is not even like a blue sky or anything. Like, it still looks awesome even when it's gray clouds. All right, we got to go way up here. It's been a while since we just rode our horse. Let's enjoy that horse music. Cookie needs some exercise. It's been a while. Wolf Link, are you keeping up? Barely. He's trying. Cookie just too fast. I uh, might have to leave you here, Cookie. Actually, let's see if we can get around. Uh, nope, gonna have to leave you here, Cookie. Thank you, though. You brought us pretty far. Look at all those rocks over there. What's going on? What is going on over there? They're all magnetic almost, too. There's definitely something going on over there. And it's kind of towards where we're going. Ooh. Wolf Link, get up here. There's a ton of enemies over here, Wolf Link. Okay, I'm hiding in the bush. That's not fair. Just realized I don't have Herbosa's Fury. Okay, let's just run away for a second and... <laughs> Get a get a sense of our surroundings here. I'm gonna have to upgrade my weapons. Let's see. Master Sword is awesome, but let's just cool everyone off for a second. All right. I want to use 
Oops, sorry about that. Uh, let's use the Guardian Spear. I just want to use this spear up because I'm probably going to get some good weapons here. Wolf Link is getting hit a lot. Let's actually hit you back this way. Ridiculous amount of health. See, the charged up attack is not even worth it. Alright, there goes the spear. Oh man, I got way too many good weapons, guys. I guess let's use Moonlight Scimitar. Seems like a shame to use it, but we might as well use it. Did you actually hit me? And I guess Wolf Link just died. Urbosa's Fury is good. Look, they're not even helping this dude. Sorry, your friends don't even want to help you. Had to waste a great weapon on you, but it's okay. We have all these weapons for a reason. We might as well use them. Alright. Uh, let's just keep using Thunder Spear for now. Uh, Wolf Link, where'd you go, buddy? So, can I not resummon him? Is he just dead for this playthrough now? can only be used once per day, apparently. Hey guys, I'm still here. I'll take that. Oh, thank you, Urbosa. That's actually... Exactly what I was waiting for. Oh, did that hurt, guys? I'm sorry. Did that hurt, guys? I'm sorry. You know what? We have it, we might as well use it. We are just going through weapons. It's actually kind of nice. Normally I can't pick up anything. And I know they're good weapons, but we'll get more good weapons. Don't, don't even worry about it, guys. Bro, you're not even helping. I actually did damage with the Savage Lionel Shield. Like if I just parry to his face, it hurts him, look. Goodbye. He has 1080 health, that's a lot. Even if I miss the parry, it's still, ooh, my Savage Lionel broke. All right, let's use a Daybreaker. Ow. He won't let go of his weapon. I'll give him props. Oh, dang. Mifa actually saved us. Dude, this guy's almost killed us. I need to eat. What is happening? Bruh. Just die! That's what you get. At least he had a lot of good drops. Was it even worth killing all these guys? Of course it was. Ooh, and there's a chest. Look at all this loot, too.
Oh, dang. That bow is super, super, super rare. Super duper 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 rare. It had times three. And quick shot. What? Wow. That is amazing. All right, uh, we also have a couple crates. Let's do these and then we'll hopefully do the shrine real quick. Purple rupee. All right, where was I guys? Oh yeah, we're going over here. I see a fire. Let's talk to this guy. Maybe this is where we're supposed to go. Oh, it's Muzu! What are you doing over here? Ah! It is you, Link. What brings you to this- No, what brings you? I'm the adventurer. We are here at the behest of Prince Sidon, who tasked us with keeping watch on this area. This is the land where Prin Princess Mipha completed her sacred trial. The sign that appeared 100 years ago have returned. Princess Mipha's notes had this phrase, While the morning sun is newly born, follow the path of light to the trial. Not sure where they came from, but she often repeated those mysterious words about the trial. Oh, okay. So, in the morning, uh, we follow the path of light. Seems pretty straightforward. I don't know why it's so hard for you, Mu Muzu. Maybe uh, getting a little old, huh? Alright. So, the sun is rising. Ooh, look. Well, I see the path of light. Let's do it. I just have to land in the open ocean, huh? Epic. I wanted to fly through it, but dropped a little bit short. That's okay. They didn't say you had to fly to it. They just said you had to follow the path. So you could just swim out here if you if you wanted or take a boat or anything. Imagine you have barely any stamina and then you die, <laughs> you drown. <laughs> the island should spawn like right under you, but Daruk's protection is now ready to roll. All right, Daruk, let's uh do this shrine real quick and uh, that'll probably be the end of the episode. Hopefully this one doesn't take too long. But We'll see how it goes. Usually shrines don't take more than 5-10 minutes, so... Alright. Epic, guys. That uh, enemy encampment took a while longer to beat. They just have so much health, it's almost ridiculous. Like, instead of making the enemies more challenging, they just give them more health. The melting point. Alright, so this one's gonna be all about melting ice, I take it. Easy enough, because we have a lot of weapons that will do that. What if you don't... Oh, there's a torch. I was going to say. If you don't have any flame weapons, there's a torch right there. Uh, but if you have a flame weapon, just hold it. This works too. If I swing, it does damage durability. So that's why I'm not trying to swing. Alright. A bunch more ice. It's an ice maker. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, all right. Uh, so do I uh, hop on top here? Oh. All right. Let's melt the ice. I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to get up. 
I'm, I'm melting the ice I'm standing on too. Not sure if you're supposed to do that. I just need it to melt enough so I can stand up there. There we go. Alright, what's up here? What is going on up here? It's actually shrinking pretty fast. But it still feels like we're trapped in here. <laughs> so what's up, guys? Um, enjoying the playthrough? This armor is pretty epic up close. Alright, um... Oh, there's more ice over here. Good thing I got more than one. Got a feeling... Yep. Trust is here. Ooh, beautiful. Thank you for the frost blade. I guess the ice maker is for if you, like, accidentally melt the ice too much. Kind of a boring shrine, even though, like, it does have a little bit of puzzle solving. It's mostly a lot of standing around. They should have they should have named this tri uh, shrine stand and do nothing. <laughs> stand and be hot. Is there a switch here or or what? Maybe I'm actually supposed to use this like Am I supposed to use this block of ice somehow? Maybe I shouldn't be melting it. It's actually kind of hard to push. I, I thought about this after we'd already melted it way down. So I'm not sure if we messed up or not. I guess it worked. Alright guys, well, keep that in mind. Don't melt it too much. <laughs> Once I noticed there was like no switch or anything underneath it, I was like, uh, maybe we actually need this for something else. I'm like m just dripping. Alright, we got our first Ruta's emblem. Let's go. That shrine wasn't too bad. Didn't take too long either. Even though uh, we just stood around. It's still kind of cool. Two remain. And uh, after the two, the boss, after the boss, the final temple. After the final temple, Hyrule Castle, baby. After Hyrule Castle, we'll be done with the game. And next game I'm going to be playing is God of War Ragnarok, like I said, on the channel. And uh, I will be playing a lot of other games too in the future, including... Tears of the Kingdom, whenever that comes out. We'll be playing it blind, meaning like I have never played it before. We'll, we'll do a, a real playthrough. This is a real playthrough too, but I've just already done... I've already beat the game. I haven't beaten it in Master Mode. This is my first time in Master Mode. But other than that, you know. All right, let's get out of the rain. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and drop a like. It helps out this series on the channel. Definitely subscribe for more Zelda, like I said, and other games. And uh, yeah, let's just get someplace nice and dry before we end the video. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to end the video out in the middle of the ocean in the rain. You know, it's kind of depressing. I don't know. We don't even have a boat. Like, let's just get out of there. I like being up on one of these towers. Clear blue sky. The Akala Tower. Oh yeah, this, this is a nice tower. Ooh, a little bit... High security, but uh, nice. Let's 
get a nice view. Look at that. Wow. Alright guys, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, friends.